the most unexplored parts of the Earth happen to be our oceans. With the blue waters covering more than 70% of the Earth's surface, there is still a lot more to be learned by scanning the ocean depths and trying to understand the many peculiar discoveries we make about our oceans every single day. Going back, researchers from a Turkish university decided to explore the uncharted depths of Turkey's largest lake. Lake Van was their destination and they knew that the lake was hard to explore. The lake can be found at over 5,000 feet above sea level, and interestingly, it never freezes. Another aspect of the dive was that for over 100 years, locals have been seeing a sea monster in these waters. The creature's been compared to a giant squid, and some have even refused to go near the water. One story states that while diving in the area, a man felt something bump his leg. Thinking it was a fish or some other marine life, he turned around to take a look. However, he was surprised to see a large squid-like creature. The man describes the monster as having an eye the size of a baseball. While down there, the divers discovered something they didn't expect to find. Another story that was known to the locals was that the lost city of Atlantis was somewhere beneath Lake Van. It's said that an ancient civilization used to live in the area around 3,000 years ago. While down there, the team was also worried about the stories of the alleged sea monster. Once the divers reached the bottom of the lake, they quickly tried to search the area for any ancient relics. However, one of the divers noticed something in the distance. The divers looked at each other and pointed towards the object. At first they were worried but slowly started to swim towards it. They soon noticed that the large structure was in great condition. It had walls and incredibly they were very stable. It turned out to be a castle from an ancient empire. The team started to explore the ruins but one of the team members found something interesting. It was the image of a lion. This all but confirmed the castle was Eurition. They knew this because this is the type of symbols they used to use. Further studies showed the structure was from the Middle Ages, and that they likely used complex materials to build it. For now, further studies are being done, but the team have suggested the castle could be part of a giant underwater kingdom. Our solar system can be found in the Milky Way galaxy. Here we can find all of our neighbouring planets along with many moons and asteroids. But just outside our solar system are more planets and stars than the night sky. Hundreds of thousands of planets have been discovered in the Milky Way galaxy, and it's anyone's guess as to what's on them. Incredibly though, the Milky Way galaxy is only one of billions of galaxies out there. So astronomers have estimated there's over a septillion planets out there. Our planet is rather insignificant when you compare it to the vastness of the universe. One thing we do know quite about though is our neighbouring planets. One of these is Uranus. It's the seventh planet from our sun and the third largest in our solar system, having a diameter of 50,724 kilometers, or 31,518 miles. Over the years, researchers have been able to find out that Uranus is a very cold and windy planet. It has faint rings and 27 moons that currently rotate around the planet. Uranus was discovered back in 1781, However, back then it was thought to be a star or a comet. It turns out it was in fact a planet, and it was named after the Greek god of the sky. Recently, a strange heat wave has begun to warm up the rings around Uranus, and this has allowed scientists to capture some heat images via two powerful telescopes in Chile. The current temperature of the rings is minus 195 degrees, and although this is still cold, it's much warmer than usual. Most of the area around Uranus is minus 460 degrees. However, as of right now, NASA scientists can't figure out why the rings have suddenly warmed up. A UC Berkeley professor of astronomy said the following about the recent discovery. Saturn's mainly icy rings are broad, bright and have a range of particle sizes. From micron-sized dust in the innermost D ring to tens of meters in size in the main rings. The small ends is missing in the main rings of Uranus. The brightest ring epsilon is composed of golf ball size and larger rocks. Another researcher went on to say the following. We already know the epsilon ring is a bit weird because we don't see the smaller stuff. Something has been sweeping the smaller stuff out, or it's all glooming together. We just don't know. 
This is a step forward to understanding their composition and whether all the rings came from the same material source or are different for each ring. For a long time now, researchers have come forward and said that we know more about what's going on on the surface of the moon than what's happening within our very own oceans. These are considered the most unexplored places on our planet, and each body of water is teeming with incredible mysteries. One stretch of water that's caused some questions to be raised is that of a lake that can be found in the mountains of Oregon. For many years now, people have passed this lake and wanted answers for what they witnessed. This small lake can be found close to a highway, and it's most well known for vanishing once a year. It does this during the dry summer months but then reappears during the wetter seasons. It's been called the Lost Lake and going back several years ago it wasn't actually known as to why it did this. However, after researchers decided to study the phenomenon they discovered the reason behind the disappearing water, and it's due to a lava tube. A lava tube is a natural channel that's formed by flowing lava. Every year this lake goes into one or more of these tubes and vanishes. The researchers behind the study have said that these lava tubes have been here for a long time. The lake itself formed thousands of years ago and it's estimated that it sits on top of a 12,000 year old volcanic rock. Every year we learn new things about the body of waters that scatter our planet. One of these has become known as the hot tub of despair. It appears that research scientists have discovered a strange underwater anomaly that can only be described as an underwater lake so toxic that it's viewed as a large biohazard to life throughout the region. The underwater lake rests 3,300 feet below sea level in the Gulf of Mexico, and seems to be at the centre of a vast desert-like region of the ocean uninhabited by life. The lake appears to be a pit of water that is visibly heavier and more condensed than the surrounding water giving it the appearance of a naturally forming lake underneath the ocean. Research scientists have discovered that this lake is filled with extremely salty forms of water, much saltier than the water surrounding it, while being mixed with a rare form of dissolved methane that will instantly damage any sea creature that falls inside. This discovery was made by a research team from San Pedro, and they used underwater research vessels to help assist them with gathering information surrounding underwater biology and geology. If more of these structures can be discovered in the near future, it might help to shed more light into the unexplainable nature of these underwater lakes and their effects on marine biology. Sharks are incredible creatures that have been swimming in our oceans for over 400 million years. They lived in a time before dinosaurs populated our planet. One of the most well-known sharks is that of the Great White. Marine biologists have always called them the apex predators of the ocean, but new research is questioning that title. Going back in 1997, tourists who were watching whales near San Francisco encountered something that hadn't been seen before. Two orcas were observed turning a great white shark upside down and consuming its liver. It's now given biologists a fascinating insight into how these giants of the oceans hunt these sharks. Going back, a South African shark-watching hotspot surprised people as large great white sharks kept washing ashore. One thing researchers and the public noticed was that each of these sharks were missing their livers. It turns out this was the work of orcas. Orcas have only been spotted attacking great white sharks a handful of times, but recently two great whites have washed ashore on the South African coast, and their bodies definitely showed signs they'd encountered orcas. It's been suggested the orcas target the livers as they're full of nutrients. What's strange though is the fact that the rest of the shark gets left behind. Normally in nature the rest of the animal is consumed, but this is not the case. Another thing that scientists and researchers have picked up on is the number of attacks on great white sharks have increased dramatically. Research has shown us that great white shark populations are on the increase, and not only this but some of their prey is endangered. This has led to regulations being rolled out which has helped to slightly balance the natural world. The next question that some can't wrap their heads around is why a great white shark would approach a pod of orcas. Great whites cover vast distances, and it's actually believed that when they encounter orcas this is by accident. One marine biologist said the following, Whenever we see orcas, sharks usually flee straight away. It's hard to find a shark when there's orcas around. 
Orcas can range in size from 16 to 30 feet long, and can weigh from 3 to 6 tons. Great white sharks on average reach lengths of 15 to 17 feet, with larger specimens like deep blue measuring 21 feet. However, an infamous great white shark known as Submarine allegedly measured over 7 meters, or 23 feet in length. As of right now, researchers are keeping an eye on the numbers, and are hoping to understand more in depth why orcas go after great white sharks. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun and the second largest planet in our solar system. It's perhaps best known for its icy rings. Although there are other planets out there that have rings, researchers say that none are as impressive as Saturn's. Saturn is also another giant gas planet. Like Jupiter, it's made up of hydrogen and helium. Over the years, we've made some incredible discoveries about this planet. One of these is that it has over 60 known moons, and it has one of the most dramatic landscapes. Saturn, along with its many moons, hides many mysteries that scientists are not close to understanding. Saturn has been observed since ancient times, but now thanks to modern technology, pretty much anyone can view Saturn with a half-decent telescope. Recently, NASA's Cassini probe were able to send back these incredible images of Saturn's rings. For many, this is also sad news, as the space probe is in its final year. This data has shown scientists the clearest images of the rings yet, and by studying the photographs, it will allow researchers to uncover the mysteries of its textures. The photographs have been used to create maps and reveal how colours and temperatures change across the rings. One of the leading scientists said the following, It's like turning the power up on one more notch on what we could see in the rings. Everyone just got a clearer view of what's going on. Getting the extra resolution answers many questions, but so many tantalising ones remain. The photographs have showed the scientists the rings are much younger than the planet, and that smaller rocky planets are able to form inside the rings itself. As of right now though, scientists and researchers still don't understand how the textures and patterns formed. They hope this recent data will help them answer some of those mysteries. This isn't the only interesting discovery that's been made on this planet. Going back in 1876, popular astronomer Asif Hall noticed an interesting development on the northern hemisphere of the gas giant. Described as a great white spot, it would later be revealed to the astronomer that Saturn has the ability to create massive white spots on the surface of the planet, and these were manifestations of thunderstorms 10,000 times stronger than the strongest hurricane experienced on Earth. Interestingly, unlike the giant red spot on Jupiter, the thunderstorm does eventually stop and returns once every 30 years, making it one of the rarest astronomical events to be witnessed by scientists since its discovery back in 1876. So what do you guys make of these photographs? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.